T-shaped fracture of the establum. T-shaped fracture. It is like a transverse fracture in addition to a vertical component fracture that's going towards the obturator foramen and is best seen on the obturator oblique view. If you see extension of the fracture through the medial wall of the establum and the fracture will go through the obturator ring, then this is a T-fracture. So in general, you're going to have a superior iliac segment, which is superior to the transverse fracture. And then you're going to have an inferior issue pubic segment. And this inferior issue pubic segment is split usually by a vertical stem of a T. You will have two separate segments, the anterior articular segment, the pubic segment, and the posterior articular segment, the ischial segment. Usually, the femoral head will displace medially, and the two caudal segments, the anterior and the posterior column segments, will rotate around the head. That's why two approaches may be needed to fix this fracture. Because part of the articular surface remain attached to the iliac wing, then this fracture is not an associated both column fracture. X-ray will show the iliopectineal line and the ischial line are interrupted in addition to involvement of the obturator framing or the presence of an ischial ramus fracture. By definition, this is a T-type fracture of the establum. The inferior stem of the T fracture can be going in different directions. It can be directed posteriorly or vertically or anteriorly. A CT scan will show the vertical line fracture, which sometimes we call it sagittal fracture, which represent the transverse part of the T fracture. How about the vertical stem of the T? Where do you see that? If you see extension of a transverse fracture of the establum through the medial wall of the establum and the fracture is going through the obturator ring, then this is a T-shaped fracture. The vertical component of the fracture is best seen in an obturator oblique view. These are the different patterns of different establar fractures that can be confusing. The first one is the transverse fracture of the establum, and you can see the vertical or sagittal fracture. The second one is the T fracture, and in the T fracture you can see the sagittal fracture of the establum which represent the transverse fracture of the establum in addition to the vertical fracture that involve the inner wall. And the third example is the posterior column, posterior wall fracture. And you can see it involves the inner wall, but lacks the sagittal component of the transverse establar fracture pattern. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.